Mills Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Mills Fleet Farm is your fishing headquarters. Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. It's our annual ice fishing party in Vermilion Bay, Ontario. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! This is a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy moly! Oh, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the size of that one, Danny. Look at the size of that fish. Yes, folks, truly one of my favorite trips of the year is to come up to Vermilion Bay, Ontario in late March and enjoy some late ice ice fishing with my buddy and guide, Danny Herbeck. Good to see you, pal. Good to see you, too. You know, we got a great group of guys, and that's half the fun, I think, of coming up here is getting a group of guys together, doing your own cooking and catching some fish. Yep, fishing's been real good, too, so we should have a good trip. Now, getting around is kind of interesting. I'm sure glad I got those tracks on my machine this year because for late March, travel's still pretty tough, isn't yes, it? Yes, the winter has really held on. I mean, as you can see, there's probably, you know, almost a foot of snow still on the lake, and it's making travel somewhat, you know, tough. Okay, so today we're going to start out with crappies, right? Yep. And while we're fishing the crappies, guys can put out some tip-ups for pike, too? Oh, yeah, pike and walleyes. I mean, everything kind of lurks mm -hmm. around in the same area, but this is primarily for crappies. Hey, you know, we got a great group with us today uh, in the next couple of days. You want to meet those guys? Of course I Let's do. Let's do that. Pete Mayna, Hayward, Wisconsin. Hey, I'm Mike Patterson. And I'm Erica Patterson. We're from Finley, Ohio. Rusty Lulliquist, Longville, Minnesota. Life short by a cabin. Len Groom, Amsoil. Dan Peterson. Amsoil. Ray Shaffert, Humminbird. Jeff Kolodzinski, Humminbird. Hi, I'm Jay Irwin from Hummingbird Lake Master. Hi, I'm Andy Ragenfuss, Phelps, Wisconsin. Henry Abbott, Silver Lake, Wisconsin. Rob Manti, St. Germain, Wisconsin. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Wear for the ultimate sun protection and cooling comfort. Using chemical-free cooling technology, our Shade and Eclipse series is designed with unique fabric to wick moisture away, as well as create pockets for air to keep you cool. Whether on the boat or on the dock, choose Blackfish, because you can choose the weather. Blackfishgear.com. Got a big painting project? Get into Mills Fleet Farm. Right now, all Valspar paint is 25% off. Power up with this 40-foot century lighted extension cord, $16.99. Keep it running right with Valvoline SynPower Full Synthetic Motor Oil, 5 quarts, $22.99. And head to the range with Winchester Game and Target Loads. A box of 100 is $21.99 at Fleet Farm. From the makers of the best-selling Yamaha Grizzly and Kodiak 700, comes the all-new Kodiak 450, the world's only mid-size ATV with Yamaha-proven off-road capability, all-day comfort, and confidence-inspired performance. The all-new Kodiak 450, starting at just Hey, here we go, folks. Uh, it took about two seconds to get a crappie bite. And uh, let's see what we got coming in here. Here he comes. Ooh, nice crappie. There we go. Beautiful. And like Danny said, the cool thing about fishing in this spot is you got the crappies and you can set up for northern pike and hope you get a big pike at the same time. Johnny. I'm coming, sweet. I'm coming. There we go, pal. I love this crappie fishing up here. Ooh, Ooh is that, I, there you go. That's a big sweet one there, buddy. <laughs> now that's actually not that big. That's not as big, but that's a good eater. That is, you know, and, and we're going to catch some that are 12, 13 inches long, and those are the ones we'll throw back. We always want to release those big fish to keep that genetic in the lake. Tungsten jig and a little piece of plastic. Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming. Look at that, Henry. What do you think of Henry there, Danny? Oh, Ooh. There we go. Now there's a nice crappie. Now Danny, when you do the guide trips, you can kind of pick the species you want to go for? Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean depending on what people want to do and you know a lot of times they like to mix it up and everything. I but like I 
I think this crappie thing is fun. Oh yeah, it is. It's a ton of fun. Do you like it? I like it. There's hey, more down there. Hey, look at this hairdo. Now, what are we, are we, you know, I've known you a long time. Are we growing our hair out We're here? We're growing it. You know, I've been bald for 20 years, decided let's try it. See yeah. if I got any hair. And how long is this going to be? Well, it's about there. That's it, about it is. Yep. It's see him, bottom. see him, see him. Get him up, get him up, get him. It is <laughs> it's nice. so cool. <laughs> I just love it. When, 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 tutorial. Yeah. And when when you see it, oh, here he comes. Here's one. Can you help there, me out? Yeah, yeah, here. Get him. Oh, that. Yeah, now nice. there, folks. Folks, is a crappie. Nice. That is a beautiful fish. That's pushing 12 and a half inches long, Jeff. That's why you come out and make a big trip. That is going to be a fantastic fish fry, Jeff. Now, and, and you know, when folks think about coming to Canada, they don't think crappies. Yeah. No, yeah. but you know what? Here's what's best. It's a mixed bag. There's walleyes, there's pike, there's crappies, even some perch, even some eel pout when yeah. you really want to fish. Yeah, that, that's a beauty right there, man. And that's such a classic, folks. If you can get them to come up like that, they're going to hit. It's like playing video games when you're fishing. It's even better because you're outside. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, what's Eric oh. got? What you got there? What you got there? What is it, Danny? It. What do you got, Danny? Big pike. Okay, a big pike arini. Okay, How's up, it going? Up on the rod. Ooh. Right here. Ooh. Oh, look at the mouth on that thing. Oh, ooh, that is a big fish, folks. That is a big fish. That is a gorgeous pike. Yeah. He's twisting. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to hurt Come on down here. Look <laughs> at that. Well, what did you think of that fight? That is yeah. awesome. Cool. That is a beautiful <laughs> pike. Now, Rob, the build on those things are oh, exceptional. Tremendous, tremendous. Yeah. Isn't that? Look at the width. Yeah. And that was on the dead bait that we talked about before. Yep. I yep. Yeah, that. that's a beauty. Now, is that your biggest northern pike ever? Yeah. Now, hey, Eric, I look up because I want to get a picture. All of you. Now, Erica, Beautiful. folks, is uh, Mike Patterson's daughter. Mike, of course, is our captain on Lake Erie. And you do a lot of walleye fishing, but that's a big fatty, isn't it? Yeah. Your biggest pike ever? Hold them up one more time, Robin. Look at the tummy. You want to feel his tummy? <laughs> right there. <laughs> Yeah, that's a rusty tummy. <laughs> no, that's a beautiful fish. Congratulations. Oh, I saw that, buddy. I saw that. I finally got him to bite. He's been messing with me for about... Oh, that's a dandy. That's a beautiful fish, Steve. Bring him up here, pal. That's a nice fish, man. And, uh, hey, that was a really nice pike that Erica just caught, wasn't yeah. it? I, that's one of the most beautiful mark pike I've seen. What was that, about 15 pounds, 16 15, pounds? 15, 18, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, hey, here we go. I'm going to have to come across this way here and sit in the old clam shack. We got Jay and my buddy Jim. <laughs> that's a good fighter, buddy. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Yep. Come it's on, a nice it's a fish. half hour show, you know. Nice fish. You know, he told me. Oh, there, grab him, grab him, grab him. Oh. Hold him up. That's a beautiful fish. Now, Jay, you do a lot of work with Lake Master, I correct? do, absolutely. Yep, been with Lake Master for 12 years. Hey, yep. congratulations, though, on the new Lake Master chips, especially for Lake of the Woods up here in Canada. Yeah. You guys, Did you guys, how do you graph a lake like that? Uh, you know, it takes a lot of boats, a lot of hours, a lot of time, and to be honest with you, a lot of props. And we have Lake Master chips for all the states in the upper Midwest? We do, actually uh, for the entire U.S. now. Coming, Mike. <laughs> Folks will know Mike Patterson, our trusty captain from Lake Erie. He joins us every year in Canada here. And here he comes. We got ourselves. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Now, Mike, all the big walleyes that you catch over on Lake Erie, you still enjoy coming on this Canadian trip, don't oh, you? Oh, I love it. The variety, all I mean, just the camaraderie with the guys, it's great up here. And your daughter's with us this year. She's having a blast. Yeah, that's a nice crappie. We're going to have a good fish fry. Tonight. Great fish fry. Yeah. Hey, fun catching those crappies and that big pike that Erica caught. But we're going to move on now and try for some evening walleyes, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just on our way home, so we might as well stop and set up for an hour or two and see what happens. So tip ups and jigging. Yeah, yeah. Both, uh, both. As the evening progresses, jigging seems to get better, though. Ooh, this one looks it like looks it's pretty big. good. This one looks like it's pretty good. Mike, oh. your daughter caught that big pike earlier today. Lift up, just lift up. Oh, oh look at this walleye. Oh. That is a beauty. And look at the smile on your mm -hmm. face. What do you do, just catch the big fish? I guess so. <laughs> yeah, no, she got the big pike earlier on the tip of, but this one you got on a jig stick. That's fun, isn't it? Yeah. What happened? You see him on the locator? Yeah, I saw him on the locator for about five minutes, and then he he kept chasing it, and then he striked. Yeah. 
What, Mike, your daughter, have you had her out on Lake Erie quite a bit over the years? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, no, she can fish, can't you, <laughs> yeah, Danny? Yeah, that's a nice one, especially on a jig stick. All right, Ray, way to go there, Raybo. Let's see what we got here, yeah, man. The walleye nice. bite is that's on. Nice right now. Okay, let's see here. Here's the bottom. Okay. And there's the leader. Oh, Ooh, oh, nice yeah. walleye. There you go, Ray. All right. Hey. I gotta ask you, you know, this is the, this, that's a beautiful fish, Danny. This is your first group trip. What do you think about all the guys getting together and doing this? Oh, I mean, this is the way to do it. Just come up with a bunch of friends, have a great time, great food, great friends, awesome fish. This is the way to do it. Oh, my buddy! Look at my musky buddy! All right, Peter! Ooh. Well, this is something he does every year, folks. <laughs> and he got him! What a great hook set there, Pete! What a great hook set! Is he, does he feel pretty good? I can't throw yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is so great. Well, here he is. We got our son. Oh, no, that's not bad. But no, tell the folks every year how you do this. You set your tip ups for Northern Pike on a regular summer musky rod. Yeah, obviously, normally we use tip ups. But we put our dead bait out on a musky rod, and it's just a lot more fun setting the hook. It's always exciting to see the stride in in indicator go down. Yeah, uh, hold this one up. Not a bad pike. Boy, yeah, look, look at what he did to that dead bait, Danny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that dead bait is really dead yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the quick start group and everything else. But that's so exciting when that goes down. You don't know how big the fish is going to be. There was four of us standing over here talking, and I could see the tape going down. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to set those tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah. We were fishing Eagle Lake out of Andy Myers Lodge, an 11 and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, 12 and a half hours from Chicago, and seven hours from Minneapolis. Excellent. Oh, there's a nice, good one. Awesome. Beautiful fish. Look at how he ate that, he too. Ate that Google Eye jig. This is the Google Eye. It's available in the live bait series and then a long hook shank series. And what we did is we took a glass rattle and built it into the middle of the round jig head and just bouncing it. It hits the bottom. That glass rattle's rattling and it's sending off vibration in this dirty water in this river. And that's the result right there. This one's coming home with me. Folks, when I head out to fish, I always stock up on my favorite Baitmate fish attractants. Dale, I just put that Baitmate on, man. Baitmate offers a complete line of fish attractants and convenient spray bottles for every angler and every species of fish. They've got your bait covered. I also have the newest Baitmate delivery system in my boat, Baitmate Ultra Live Game Fish Dip. Simply flip open the lid and dip your bait for even application every time, and it's ideal for frequent casting. I, I just dipped that in the bait mate, you know that? Improve your chances of catching fish with bait mate fish attractants. It just makes sense. Well, folks, today we're targeting northern pike and, and walleye, and uh, they're both in the same spot, which is kind of nice, you know? That is nice, yeah. Now, I saw you yesterday catch a, a smaller pike on a musky rod, which is a fun <laughs> way to do it, and that's how we got it set up. But this is the bait we're using, and, and you put a quick strike rig on, huh? Yeah, always a quick strike rig, and this time of the year especially, but a lot of people don't know this still to this day, northern pike are, have a real p propensity for dead bait. Right. And as you get into the spring, even more so. And if you're really targeting big pike, I think this is the best way to go with these dead bait. Hey, 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 Ray, hey, Ray, Ray, I'm coming, buddy. We got a decent one I don't want to walk too much today because this snow is a foot and a half deep. Ooh, that looks like one. a good walleye, buddy. It, it hammered it, too. Ooh, good. Whoa. 
Here we go. Ah, oh, that's right. a beauty. Oh. Hold that one up, man. That is a gorgeous <laughs> walleye right there. And on, on the Castmaster, and how are you working that? Just letting it hit the bottom and bring it up about a foot and a half and just lightly playing with it. And yeah. it came up and just hammered it. Hold them up. I mean, that really, that's a beautiful walleye right there. And uh, how have you enjoyed the trip so far, buddy? Uh, it's time of my life. It's fantastic. Isn't it? Getting a group of guys together and doing this, I just love it's the camaraderie. Great. It's you know? awesome. Folks, Danny just came over and got us, said, you want to catch some smallmouth? Is it that easy? Yeah, I mean, you have to know which humps they uh, that they're on. And a lot of times where, we're, where we catch them in the fall, like where we've, they're on the same humps all winter till the ice breaks. So you just go on those same areas. It's usually shallow, shallower rock piles that they'll congregate on. And they will bite. Very aggressive. Hey, Danny, Danny, here you go, buddy. I just put that down. I just put that down. Look at the battle. Look at the battle there, buddy. Okay, here he comes. And oh, look at that tank of Rudy there, pal. Oh, come on up here, Danny. That is just a beautiful, beautiful fish, man. Da not. Danny made the call. He said, you want to go catch a few smallmouth? And what am I going to say? Of course. Of course. That's a beauty. Yeah. And it's kind of interesting, you know, a lot of people don't realize the quality of the bass that we have in Eagle Lake, right? All that, and like they're super aggressive through the ice, and people, it's a it's a misunderstanding, they think bass are kind of sluggish. You pull up on a hump and within, what were you doing, 10 seconds? Yes. Bam. Yes. Hold them up. Isn't that gorgeous? And what's that, about a three pounder? Yeah. Real nice fish. Yeah. This is every second. <laughs> this is every second, isn't it? Oh. Oh, look oh, at that. Man. That is a beauty, man. Wow! Can you grab him? Yeah, I'm gonna grab him. That's the way to land a smallmouth. <laughs> Look at that side. Yeah, hold him up. Oh my God! Now you guys fish with Danny kind of regular. This is yep. this is a cool deal, isn't oh it? Oh my Lord! Yeah, yeah. Isn't that something? Look at did, that thing. Did, did you ever try smallmouth <laughs> oh, through the ice never, before? Never. No. Oh my gosh, that's and, too much. And like Danny's told thing. me, they're super aggressive. Did you mark them first? No, I just put it down there. Yeah, hold them up one more time so the folks can see. I mean, yeah, just a really gorgeous that bass. Thing. That is huge. Nice Please job, man. Thing, man. Now Mark's got one on. Danny, oh, oh look at this guy, look at this guy. What do you mean not very big? <laughs> that's <teeny>. a <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. There you go, it is. And Danny, it's kind of interesting. Once you catch them, the spot's done, huh? Yeah, that's what's on there. They bite right away it's usually a you know quick in and out thing so you don't have to spend the whole day at it you know are they aggressive all winter just this late ice no all winter there is no time to rest Danny here's another one coming in here's another one coming oh look at that guy look at this guy Danny whoa get him up get him up I having fun oh look at this guy this. no <laughs> and what did Danny say let's go catch a few small ones yeah and like how many four, have we had now in, in, in five minutes? This is five minutes. Four? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, unbelievable. And don't they, mm, I love that hit. They just slam it. Yeah. They just slam it. Hey, Al. Al, all right, Alley Cat's got one on. Al, we just caught six smallmouth in six minutes. No kidding. Yeah, what do you got on here, do you think? You know, the way it's head shaking, I'm thinking it's a decent walleye, not a northern. But all right. Ooh, yeah, a little fight at the end there. And we got ourselves. <laughs> Ooh, nice walleye, Al. That's a beauty. You know, I gotta uh, thank Al. He's uh, our host. He let us stay at your house up here this time around. I appreciate that, buddy. Hey, no problem. Yeah, I'd love, that love to have you. Isn't that gorgeous? And you're just using a simple jig? Yep, jigging a little minnow on there. Yeah, that's a gorgeous fish. Now that's one we'll release. Yes, absolutely. It's a slot fish. No, seriously, man. Danny came over and he says, you want to go over and catch a few smallmouth? And I said, wow, I'm enjoying myself here. And he said, well, you can catch them in like 10 minutes. We went over there and caught six in six minutes. Any size? Uh, up to four and a half pounds, yeah. Wow. But not as nice as that. Nice, nice. job, pal. Hey, thanks. Good walleye. Folks, Johnsonville's are a very important part of any Canadian ice fishing trip, aren't they, Jeff? Hands down, my favorite part of every trip. Okay, well, we got a new product right now. They're flame-grilled sausages. They are pre-cooked, and they come in three flavors, Italian, brat, and sweet and spicy. What do you like about them? Well, you know, they're very convenient when you've got a big group on the water here, and, and it's, it's quick and easy, and that, that flame taste comes right on through. And for the soccer moms, it's really great when you're in a pinch to get dinner ready. 45 seconds in the microwave and that great taste comes right on out. Best flavor you've done on any trip so far. Look for Johnsonville Grilled Sausage at your favorite grocery store today. What's going on here, you guys? What's going on? Ooh, Henry's got something big on here, huh? Yeah, we got something good. Okay, little Hensie Boo. I saw you fighting that over there. 
<laughs> oh, 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 he's got your rod bed. Oh, here he comes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Henry Abbott, a Jagundo, Gugbubu, Big Slava, Saurus, man. There we go. That is a big fish. Well, <laughs> hey, come on. Tell me, was that a thrill? That was good. That'll work. Hey, now that is a gorgeous walleye, and you know that's 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 the deal coming up here to Vermilion Bay, Ontario, man. This yep. is what you get. Hey, I want to pay a little kudos to our buddy uh, Rob Manti, our camp cook. And uh, what was your favorite meal? Well, first of all, we chipped in thirty-five bucks for food. Yeah. Tell me what we had. Well, we had pizza the first night just to get it out of the way. Right. Then we had fish. Oh. Fresh Canadian walleyes. Yep, some calamari. Calamari. The next day we had steaks. And breakfast. And breakfast, oh, every day, either sausage, eggs, pancakes. Johnsonville's. Johnsonville's. But no, that's the thing. Get a group of guys together like this. It's a great trip and it's inexpensive, you know? Oh, yeah. When you got a bunch of people, we got 15 guys. It's nothing. Yeah, well, hold up this big old walleye, buddy. Is that one of your bigger ones through the ice? Yeah, for sure. Well, not counting Lake Erie. That doesn't count. That's yeah. No, that's a beautiful fish and he fought you, didn't he? Yeah, that was a good, that was a nice fight. I'm Blake Gillespie here for Mills Flea Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Spring is the time to rig up your boat, and Mills Flea Farm has a great variety of fish locators, and one of our favorites is the Helix Series. They're available in various screen sizes with built-in GPS, trip sonar for impressive detail, and are Lake Master compatible. You need to come to Mills Fleet Farm to see it for yourself. And that's why I shop at Mills Fleet Farm, because I know they'll have everything I need. Hi, Len Groom from Amsoil here, and we're talking about new product today. We've got ATV, UTV oil change kits built by Amsoil for a variety of Polaris ATVs and UTVs. With the growing popularity of ATVs and UTVs, this just made sense to do. It takes all of your outstanding Amsoil products, puts them in one convenient kit. For more information, check out our website, amsoil.com, and look at the Power Sports Lookup Guide. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time. Because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. Andy, Andy, ooh, this, I hope, that I've been catching a little northern yeah, pike, so I hope pike, this man. is not a little northern pike. Look at that little clam rod bent in half. There's nothing better, is there? This is fun, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh. let's see where, here's my leader. Ooh, yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah, ooh. nice walleye. John. Oh, good, a walleye. Come nice on up one. here, Andy. I got to show the folks, this is kind of a homemade bait that Danny made. Yep. This is just a regular cast master. And what Danny did was put a little willow blade up there and uh, attach the hook on the bottom. And that bait got nice flutter to it. John, you've caught in the last five or six fish, so it's obviously working. Yeah, isn't that a nice walleye? Now that's a throwbacker, right? Yep, that's in a slot. Yeah. Well, is there something on there, Pete? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. He's got a little, yeah, it's loading up. Oh, <laughs> nicely done. Hey, that's a walleye hook set, isn't it? Yeah. That nicely done there, Michael. Oh, there, oh, there we go. Look at that. You got the dead bait back, too. Got dead, oh, wow, we got all kinds of stuff here. Yeah, that's cool, man. <laughs> And I got to ask my buddy, Mike, now you've caught a lot of walleyes on Lake Erie, <laughs> but what about catching a pike through the ice with the, with the rod? Well, the surf rod makes it a lot of fun. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, no, that's neat, Pete. Oh, Danny, Danny, look at this. Look, Dino, Dean the Dream has got one on. This is a big He's fish, big, man. Big. This is You've been battling this a while, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, here, he comes. here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, a muskie. Look at that. Holy cow. A muskie. Look at that. Come on up here, Danny. Dean, nice job, buddy. I was way over there and I saw you battling that fish, buddy. 
You know, that seems to happen every year oh, we come up, doesn't it? You know, we're fishing, you know, the mouse of spawning bays, and it, it does happen, like you said. Oh, we're not, unbelievable. We're not targeting these fish. We're just, you know, hanging dead baits for pike, and obviously, you know, they come by, and they think it looks tasty, too. What do you think of the build on that fish, dude? <laughs> Fat. That Fat. is a gorgeous oh, fish, beautiful. man. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I saw you over there. Oh, you no. battled that for a while. And he kept taking drag out, kept taking line out. Yeah, well, I, oh, sorry, I couldn't get oh. here any faster, but oh, beautiful, beautiful yeah. fish. Fish, we'll get man. Her right. get her yeah, let's get her back. I mean, that is something. This is on dead bait, Rob? Yep, yeah. All right. When the dead bait, Mike, it's always going to be a pike, probably. Does it feel pretty good? Feels good. All right. He's really peeling line. I know it's not a Lake Erie walleye. No. <laughs> Ooh, there's the marker. Ooh, it's a nice pike. I see the head. Bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. Ooh, Mike. Oh, look at that. Oh, that yeah. is, that's not a real long one, but that is a fatty, isn't it, Rob? Yeah, it's a nice fish. You know, dead bait is interesting, isn't it? I mean, do you, when you really think about it, you get the bigger fish on dead bait, don't you? Typically, yeah. I mean, dead bait, bigger pike are scavengers, and we finally got some sun, which is probably getting the pike a little more interested, so. And Al just caught a real nice walleye, yeah, too, so. Yeah. But you know what, Mike? That's not a Lake Erie walleye, but I it like, is fun. I like coming up here. This is a good time. Yeah, nice fish. <laughs> Folks, it's time now to announce this week's winners of the Mills Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2018 Fishing Contest. Contest. Jeff Dreyer of West Bend speared the 75-inch sturgeon on Lake Winnebago. Andrew Sharp of Sheboygan iced this 32-inch walleye on Little Badenoch on a sucker. Ed Painter of Watertown, South Dakota caught this 15-inch perch on Goose Leg on a jig. Ron Thiel of St. Francis caught this 42-inch northern pike on Lake Matunga on a tip-up. And this week's kids winners are... Dylan Deke of Appleton caught this 38-inch northern on Partridge Lake on a shiner. And Emily Goss of Waukesha caught this 25-inch walleye on Pewaukee Lake on a shiner. Our adult winners will receive a $25 Mills Fleet Farm gift card. Our kids winners of Plano Tackle Box. Mills Fleet Farm is your ultimate fishing headquarters. The skies are for more information on Canadian ice fishing packages, call Danny Herbeck. That number is 807-216-8866. 216-8866. Evan Root has taken the most advanced outboards in the world and added the best coverage on the water. During the Evan Root Perfect 10 sales event, get 10 full years of coverage, the very best protection in the industry on all E-Tech engines and accessories. This exclusive limited time offer is valued up to $7,500. Only Evan Rood lets you have it all. The world's best outboard with the world's best coverage. For details, visit evanrood.com. If you fish, chances are you've used a must-add hook. That's all we use. Come on, get him in there. Army tank, Daredale. Oh, there is the big boy. I mean, I just can't believe this, folks. Oh, let's see him, yeah. buddy. Look at that. <laughs> that 10 yeah. seconds, though, makes a big difference, buddy. Well, that one is a gorgeous fish. Is that pushing three? That's three. We're going to weigh it. Must have the world's largest manufacturer of fishing hooks. Get the point? We did. And that is our show for today, folks. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie. Hoping to see you and join John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Goodbye, ice fishing. Hey, hey. Hey, John Gillespie. Hey, hey, John Gillespie. Hey, John Gillespie.